<laughs> wow. That's, uh, oh, that well, is tragic. I, I remember the most dramatic thing for me is uh, TV used to show a lot of Marx Brothers movies. Oh, yeah. And I loved the Marx Brothers. And they would still show You Bet Your Life. And then Groucho came back. Oh. And he was, like, doing the Dick Cavett show and stuff. And he was, like, old and frail and barely yeah. recognizable. And it would be like... You know, years ago, <laughs> we were filming a, a movie. Oh, no! And movies back then used to show <laughs> in movie theaters. <laughs> and movie theaters was a theater <laughs> where you'd show a movie. And if the movie oh. was playing on Monday, you would go on Monday to see the movie. <laughs> Because it would play on Monday. Now, if it played on Tuesday, oh, no. you would go on Tuesday to see the movie. And you remember him being so yes. quick? And, yeah, like oh. and doing these crazy dances in right. his film and running around. A and, lot of running, yeah. a lot of slaps. And, you know, a million jokes a minute, yeah. you know. And, oh, I, I, I was at something. It was called A Day at the Races. And it was uh, out in California when I was about 12 years old. My dad took me yeah. uh, to this thing. And it was like a charity horse race thing. And uh, Groucho was there. This was like 1972, I think, yeah. 73 maybe. And uh, Groucho was there. And a lot of people. Artie Johnson was there. Oh. Uh, Diane Carroll. Oh, uh, my ben God. Zara. Oh, was, geez. I was in heaven. This was. Oh, crazy. my God. And there's Groucho, and he's in a wheelchair. Oh. And it was one of those, like, old fashioned wheelchairs. Oh, like. A blanket over his. Like leg. those. Like, like the President Roosevelt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the FDR edition. <laughs> <laughs> or or what's his name? Lionel Barrymore. Lionel Barrymore. Yeah. It was like the one what that what that lady was in, like, hey you old hag. Oh yes, yeah, with Richard Whitmark. Richard Whitmark pushing her down, down the, the stairs. <laughs> so, old hag. So as if wheelchairs aren't depressing to begin with. Right. This was that old style old. horror movie. And the blanket wheelchair. over his legs. Ah! It was everything horrible. And I got his autograph. He didn't even look at anything. Like, they put the paper oh, under no. his hand with the pencil, and he just went like this. And it, I think he died, like, months later. But <clears throat> I, From the exhaustion <laughs> of writing his name. <laughs> he, uh, it was an infection from a knuckle. It was a number two pencil, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you asked him to sign an autograph? He doesn't have the strength for that. <laughs> Are you crazy? Uh, the pencil was uh, more uh, was stronger than his bones at the time. It was very yeah, hard. It was basically, like asking him to run to the top of the Empire <laughs> State Building. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I I uh, and, and people all often gave me shit about it because they were like, "You actually met Groucho Marx." Like, if you met Groucho Marx, you were one old motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like, it wasn't fucking, you know, on the set of fucking one of these. And and I and before he died, he said, you know, I signed <laughs> an autograph. <laughs> and it, he handed me a pen. Now, a pen in those days, you would hold it in your hand and you'd write your name right, on, Groucho. on a piece of paper. Paper was something they had used <laughs> from the word papyrus. <laughs> oh, it's great. It, 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 <laughs> you could you could fold a piece of paper. Ah, <laughs> uh, ancient Egyptians. <laughs> Oh, here we go. And everyone has to be nice. You can't uh, cut oh, him off. Oh, of course. Because he's a legend. Oh, you know, it was horrible. Um... Oh, can I say something about the view here? Yeah, by please. The way? It's, it's